Hi guys, welcome to Big Oggy Golf. My name is Chris Skew, I'm the head pro here at Nuki Golf Club. Uh, today we're going to do some pros tips and we're going to hopefully improve your bunker play. Now, when it comes to bunkers, a lot of people are quite scared, quite frightened of bunkers, uh, where in theory it's actually the easiest shot you can play. So uh, we're going to do some tips, we're going to do some hints and hopefully we can improve your game. So Chris, this is your practice area, yep. I believe, yeah? My office. Your... So it's a little bit rough and ready, so this is not part of the course. We're not saying that UK's bunkers are like this. They're not. So Chris has brought a load of balls down, and he's going to hopefully demonstrate some stuff today. I'll be I'll be watching very keenly for this, Chris. This is a really tricky bunker. This is a typical Newquay bunker. So what you see here is a typical Lynx golf bunker. Is The face is very high. It's very steep. Um, you it's have got to steps. Ball. Well, you've got steps to yep, get in and bunker. out, which is obviously a very much a Lynx thing. Um, so a lot of people would look at this shot and be quite frightened of it. You have to get the ball up, you have to get it going forward. It's yeah, you you you're trying to you're trying to do a lot of stuff where actually it's a very simple shot to play really. Okay. So if I just work on a couple of fundamentals really on on how we're going to get out of this bunker hopefully every time. Uh, now granted before you eagle eye viewers to start writing down at the bottom there um, I have given myself a quite a nice lie and B it's quite flat okay but just for the process that's what we're going to do so to get out of a bunker like this we need loft so we need to add loft onto this onto this club so the more open I can make this face the more loft is going to be coming in at impact fingers crossed the higher the ball is going to come off so if I just demonstrate one for you just very quickly we're going to try and get this up nice and high Nice and soft, and get it coming out fairly, fairly quiet, yep. fairly easy. So we're going to put this in here. So what have I done there? So what I've done is I've opened the face up, and then I've gripped the golf golf club. Very important. A lot of guys I see, especially I teach, start with the club face square and their grip square. Then they'll open the face up and not move their hands. Well, the club's only going to return back to the place it started. So really important. We open it up, then we hold it. Secondly, I'm going to have the ball a little bit further forward in my stance. So with a, with a chip shot, sand iron shot, the ball position would be more kind of middle-ish. Here it's now more towards my left heel. I open the face up, grip it. From there, what I'm trying to do, I'm just trying to put a tiny bit of weight onto my left side here. And the reason for that is that with a trap shot, we're trying to come in a little steep. Then the ball's forward, so that's going to make your angle of attack shallow and then it's going to be coming out, up and out of the sand again. If I have the ball too far back, I'm just going to dig into the sand too much. If I have it too far forward, I'll start making contact with the ball, it'll run up the face and back down to your feet. So, club face open, ball position slightly forward, tiny bit of weight on the left side, and I'm just going to accelerate into the back of the sand, and it pops out nice and easy. What I see from a lot of guys, um, and especially with a shot like this, which is obviously a little bit, a little bit nerve-wracking, shall we say, is they stand there, they have the ball a bit too far back in their stance, they have the club face square, and then they try and help the ball into the air. So as soon as they try and help it... That's my issue, I try and help the ball in my, my normal chipping and everything, is to stop helping the ball. So about 250 years ago, John, yep. a crazy Scotsman in a shed somewhere, I would have thought, thought actually if we didn't use a crook, so they used to use crooks and stones, okay. didn't they? If we didn't use a crook that didn't have any loft on it, and we actually used a instrument a club which had loft in it we don't have to okay manufacturers such as callaway etc they spend millions and millions and millions of dollars on developing these clubs which makes the game easy for you makes the game easy for me for everybody so there is enough loft on this club to get this ball out okay. even playing it with a square blade as long as i have the ball a little bit further forward tiny bit of weight on my left side even with a square blade it's still going to come out yep yeah no problem it's not going to be too much of an issue the issues that I see, as I said, so the big issues I see with guys that I teach, they have the ball too far back in their stance, they have a bit of weight on their right side, and then they try and help the ball up into to the air. We have to, have to, have to get this golf club traveling into the sand. If it doesn't travel into the sand, so if I don't actually sort of take a lot of sand to get it out, we're in, we're in trouble. Okay. The other little tip, just very quickly, is the speed of the golf swing. A lot of people within a bunker try and hit at the ball and they'll stop yeah we're actually it's called a golf swing for a reason what we need to do we need to hit through the ball to keep that pace to keep the loft on the golf club to keep it going through the sand okay it's not a coincidence that they put 
sand on the escape lanes to stop cars because it's a heavy thing. It's difficult to get through. We need to keep that pace up. Okay. So if you can just imagine ball position, tiny bit of weight on your left left side, open up the face, and then you're going to have a firm thump into the sand. Keep the swing going, and I'm sure you'll be getting out of those bunkers more often than not. Lovely. Thank you very much, Chris. No problem at all. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you want Chris to give us a lot more tips, uh, Chris is a bit of a short game expert, as he would say, short game bunker, all those kind of things. Um, just ask us, we'll get Chris back. Indeed. Uh, so this has been the fourth video this week with Chris. Thank you very much for taking part in Chris Gill Week. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Thanks, John. I love the idea of Chris Gill Week. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get Chris uh, doing some more films with us, some fun stuff. We're going to do some work with Neil as well uh, at Newquay and at other places. Thank you very much for being a, the pro buccaneer. No problem. Enjoyed every minute of it.